Tell us what you're making, Vince, and tell us how it's made. I'm making an Arctic char wrapped with kale. Usually I get one that's a little bit smaller, but um, they, they really give me a big one today. So. Let's take a look at this fish. Okay. Let's see what you got going on with this fish okay, over so here. Okay, so we have an Arctic char. It's sustainably farmed in Iceland. You can oh, see wow. how beautiful this fish is, the color. Wow, you got yourself fish. a whole fish that. there, didn't you? Yes, it's a big one too. I'll give it a little wash. I always ask them to take away the gills. It's something that will keep the freshness of the fish. Yeah. Uh, let me salt it. Okay. So you're just gonna I'm salt gonna it right it. in the sink? I'm gonna salt it right in the sink because um, it's it's the easiest thing to do. Okay. You salt it right in the sink. And it's uh, not, not messy uh, that way because it's fish. What kind of salt are you using? Uh, we're using uh, sea salt. Sea salt. Uh, from 365. Poor little guy came from the sea. Now I gotta salt him <laughs> down with some sea salt. That's right. <laughs> also, I'm gonna put some uh, pepper inside. Uh, oh gosh, sides. you can't believe you're just touching everything with your hands at the same time. Oh yeah, well I'm not Jeez, afraid. Well, good thing it's your house. Well, I'm a right. former fisherman as well. Are so, you? Yep. Wow. And uh, I also like to use basil. A little uh, bit of basil, a little dry basil? Just dry basil is good because the flavor comes out. You can use uh, fresh basil as well. Lots of basil. That's one, one of my favorite spices. And then I'm going to add a little bit of lemon. Yeah, you weren't kidding about the bread knife, huh? Yeah, so, but I can use your knife now. <laughs> I, I use the bread knife for everything. Well, uh, it's whatever you're comfortable with, you know? That's right. So what I, I do is I just line the fish. Look so, at that guy. Yeah. And he's got his little lemon sticking out. He's happy. So I'm putting the fish here. So I'm gonna line this fish with, with kale. And um, huh. it's perfectly shaped to, uh, to, so to basically- to Sort of wrap it around wrap it. Wrap it around it. It flavors the fish. It has almost a tea flavor, so the flavor of the kale gets infused into the fish. I use a little bit of olive oil, which has a smoke point of 520. Avocado oil, you mean? Uh, sorry, avocado oil. I had to oil. correct the guy, you know? Jeez. <laughs> this has a higher uh, uh, smoke point, yeah. which is suitable for oh, grilling. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, so what I like to do is I, I line with oil. So how did you learn this? I just did this by experiment. And I think Gordon Ramsay just did something not too long ago. He was out in somewhere fishing with some guy. They took some kelp and made it into a pouch. Yes. And put the fish inside the pouch and then closed the net and threw it on the barbecue. No kidding. And That's it like natural, steamed it. That's a very nice way to do it. It was right really out neat. of the sea. Also, I, today I want to uh, put a probe in there. I want to see how hot he gets. And you're looking for what temperature? Uh, are you we're looking, looking for? for 145 is okay. the recommended. And so I'm gonna try to wrap this up as best I can. It's a big fish and um, you know, so I need three layers uh, to do this. Um, uh oh, your foil's starting to rip and everything. Okay, well, that's why we have a second layer. You know, we, Second and we third wanna... layer. So you can see this looks like a fish. Um, it does, it looks like and, a uh, tin foil fish. That's right. And so that was pretty simple, so and now we're going to go stick it on the grill. How long do you think it's going to take? Every um, one inch, we go 10 minutes. Okay. So we'll shoot for 30 minutes. 30, about 30 minutes. So we're going to throw this on the grill. Let's go do that. Let's go. Got the grill ready. It's all ready. cranking up. It's definitely up to 600. Throw it on Let's in. Open, open her up. Put it in. Make it happen. So we're, this is our temperature inside. Perfectly, it's um, 46 at the moment. 46. And it needs to get up to 145. 145, I'm shooting for. Okay. He's got some flipping to do. Yeah, so we're uh, right around 16 minutes, um, which we said. Still, would... it's only gone up three degrees. Easy flip. That's right. That's it. Oh, yeah. All right, great, so that's halfway let it through. Keep going. It's gonna have to get the 100 degrees up. Now what do we do? Um, we just uh, wait a bit. We just uh, hang out. Cheers. All right, so while we're hanging out, we've got nothing better to do but drink a beer. Okay, mm -hmm. a little lunch break. Mm -hmm. Time to go get the fish. My thermometer has failed me, but um, I'm gonna take it out. There's a beauty. You can hear it Silver sizzling. Beauty. See how it came out? So far, Vince, it looks good, but I'm not sure. We'll see. see Real that? quick, like, ooh, look yeah. at that. Unravel that, it's quite hot. And then we'll try to preserve the kale and the skin of the fish. And then we'll flip it onto a fish dish. 
fish dish. Yep. I know that sounds kind of corny, but go like that. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you don't there want to eat are. that? Don't want to eat that. You don't want to eat aluminum? <laughs> That's weird. I yeah. like aluminum with my fish. You it's so a good, bit you know? Of minerals there. <laughs> yeah. So there we have it. Hey, hey, thanks like for watching. Video, you like our sure videos? You us well, then do me a favor and subscribe because then we can update you on what's going on. Week. You'll also thanks know when we're giving away we'll really cool time. stuff, which happens all the time. So make sure you subscribe and we'll be in touch.